Hello, brothers and sisters. Uh, this is Sister Susie. Today, I'm going to share the revelations the Lord gave me. And so, this morning, I laid down on the bed and I sensed the presence of the Lord. And He spoke to me and He said, Time is over. I'm going to repeat. He said, Time is over. And we all know what that means because He's been stressing this point of, um, of time. That we are in the with we are in the end of time. We're in the end of the age, you know. Uh, so he's wanting us to remain vigilant in him, to remain in his ways, in his path, to continue to seek his face. But also, for those that don't have him as their Lord and Savior, to surrender their life to him and to, to, to you know, to, to, just be in him. Because we know that without him, we cannot survive what is going to happen to the world. And, uh, and so that's why he's, I believe he keeps telling us that, you know, time is over because he wants everybody to get it, to understand that, yes, we are at that point that things are not going to be as usual. Like they've been going on for generations and generations. They're not going to be as like that. But things are about to take a turn. And the only safety that we have is in him, in Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So he said this morning, time is over. So I'm going to go to the dream that I had. So in this dream, I found myself that I was just seated down. And all of a sudden, a baby, a newborn was brought to me. And this baby didn't have any clothes. And uh, uh, I knew this baby was mine. I had given this, I had given birth to this baby. And it was just brought to me just suddenly. And I took the baby in my hand and uh, I heard the baby's first cry. And, um, and the baby was wanting to be fed milk. And so, you know, how the baby would, you know, move his, uh, their, their head just like that. They were wanting to be fed milk. And uh, so uh, the part ended that I was about to feed this child milk. But, and... Uh, that's not the case in reality. I'm not expecting a child or anything like that. And so uh, I believe the Lord is letting us know about the birth of the man-child. When the baby is born, we know that is when we're going to be changed. We're going to be transformed. We're going to go to the, um, to the uh, wilderness. Uh, let me read that scripture. It talks about when the baby is born. That's Revelation chapter 12. From verse number five, and it says, And she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with the rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she had the place prepared of God that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and threescore days. And that's the church. As the church, when the baby is born, as the church, we're going to be taken to the place of safety you know, uh, which is the wilderness. So I just wanted to encourage you, uh, my brothers and sisters, the baby is born. And we know that this is our, our moment that we're going to be taken to safety. Now, another thing also that the Lord showed me uh, was just we were in this place building. It was a, a lot of people there. And I noticed like we were all standing in line. We had a cup in our hand. And we would go to the front to receive a drink. Now, I was in line, so I didn't get there yet to see what kind of drink this was. But we were in line to go and receive a drink. And in my hand, I had a cup, and it was a blue-colored cup. And we were going to receive a drink. Now, with that, I was reminded with the scripture of um, Matthew 26, verse number. Let me start from verse number 26. And it says, as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, take it. This is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, drink you all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new 
with you in my father's kingdom praise the lord so i believe maybe the lord is letting us know on verse number 29 it says that i will not drink this cup a uh, henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when i drink it new with you in my father's kingdom so we were nearing that point whereby we're going to drink of this cup with our lord yeshua hamashiach you know jesus christ the son of god we're going to drink with him in in his father's kingdom so i believe maybe that's what the lord was letting us know that we are standing in line to get uh with our cups in our hand to receive of this drink that our lord yeshua will give to us all so may you all be encouraged you know uh the lord is letting us know that time is over we are nearing that point whereby we will be transformed and we will be with our lord yeshua in his father's kingdom i want to uh, bless you with these revelations may you get encouragement from them i love you guys and uh, may the lord bless you and may his light shine on you and until next time this is sister susie bye bye